I do not regret breaking up the shield. The business needed a shift. And look, if you want to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. What's up, GQ? I am the man, Becky Lynch. And I am Seth freaking Rollins, and these are our 10 essentials. The gym bag and protein. It's actually my gym bag. Let's be specific here. It's my gym bag. She doesn't really have a gym bag per se. I don't. Se. Well, he's the storer of things, the carrier of items. I am the carrier. Shaker cup, standard, which she just uses, mine, all the I time. I do. We got jump ropes, gymnastic scripts so I don't shred my hands, a spare hat in here, athletic tape so I don't shred my thumbs. I know that's Look at his thumbs, though. What's wrong? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah, I got weird thumbs. A little band for my hips. I occasionally use that for the glute raises. Build All the glutes. sorts of stuff. But the Irish glutes, they don't exist. We got us a, a, a weight belt. And this is a knee brace, because I got a bad knee. More jump ropes. And we got a backup jump rope. I could go on and on. This is like Hermione's bag from Harry Potter. This stuff, this is so delicious. It's magic. It's so I'm not convinced that it's actual protein. It might be a gimmick. It just tastes like a milkshake. And I am so bad at eating that it's just a way for me to get protein in. I have two or three a day. Just saying. Wrestling attire. Call myself the man. I'm the man. I'm the man, Becky Lynch. This one is one of my favorite ones. A fan made this for me. Shout out Kimberly. It's a little bit tattered because I've worn it so much. But it says the man and then it has the Pearl Jam stick logo holding a title belt. Pearl Jam is my favorite band, so I love this one. This is my favorite. Sunglasses. sunglasses. The bigger the better. You know, really only wrestlers and rock stars can get away with wearing sunglasses indoors. Is that true? Wrestlers, rock stars, and assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big sunglass head. You are. And I have a large, obnoxious collection. Can you see? I can see. Okay. I can see. You know, I don't like to wear them while I'm performing. Like, I like to come out and wear them. But when I have them on and I'm cutting a promo or I'm talking to the audience, I always like to take them off. I feel like there's a... There's a disconnect if I have them on. You don't feel like that. No, I don't feel that way. I actually feel like this kind of comfort when I'm behind the sunglasses in front of a crowd and I'm in my own little space and I don't feel as judged, if you will. There's, so interesting. There are some glasses that I wear to the ring and I am afraid I'm going down. Like I can't see anything. Because I dance a lot. Like her entrance, she just comes out, stands there, looks awesome. I come out, I'm like dancing and moving and there's fire going. I don't want to be caught up in flames. Well, that's not how I want to go, but it might happen if I, if I can't see where I'm going. So I gotta be very careful with my sunglass selection. This is... This is pain. <laughs> it's pain. Sadness. Anguish. Yeah, it's one of the most common questions we get. Are the chairs real? That's very real. That's that's the chair you get, and you just swing it at 100 miles an hour and hope for the best. I mean, it makes an incredible noise when it clacks off of somebody's back, but it's such a simple, easy to pick up, like obvious weapon, I suppose, in a way. And for some weird reason has like ingrained itself in professional wrestling lore. There's something magical about it in a weird way. But there's also so many things you can do with it. You can get creative with it. You can tie it up in the ropes. You can set it up in different ways, like clamp down on someone's arm with it. Or you can just swing for the fences. I have sat on it with somebody in an arm bar, for example, you know, pulled it through, you've got leverage, you're sitting down, you're comfortable, they're in agony. And for me personally, the black chair changed the trajectory of my career. I swatted Roman Reigns and, and Dean Ambrose with a, a black chair very similar to this nearly almost a decade ago now at this point. Turn on my best friends in a very devious moment. I do not regret breaking up the shield. If you want to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. This essential is our baby bag. Because we got a baby. She's three. And she comes everywhere with us, all over the world, constantly on planes, so we need all the things. iPad, Baby judge I. us as you will. YouTube. 
YouTube. I want, I want to, watch to watch YouTube. My advice to parents, if you're traveling for long hours with a child, I'm not proud of it, but it works. Had to ban Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig was making it go wild. We got diapers. Prepared wow. diaper rush stuff. We got spare socks in here. Tights, tights, tights. 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 She needs a change of clothes. Because you never know what's going to happen. It gets bad sometimes. I so. did make the error once of not having a change of clothes and then had to run into a Spanx store and get her the tiniest pair of underwear booty shorts that I could find that doubled as shorts. It worked. It, wor it worked. It worked. It got That's us through. That's all there was in the airport. These are the essentials for sure. But uh, for the long trips, the iPad does get the job done. I need it all. I'm a hairy dude. He I'm is a very hairy dude. I'm a dude. hairy dude. Been hairy my whole life. Got to take care of it. So I got like some beard wash that I actually found from Target here. Scotch Porter. And it smells out. Have you smelled it's, this one? It's, Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've smelled that one before. That's a little pumpkin spicy. It's a hell of a smell. When I was a young man and I decided to grow this beard at 37, I've had this since I was like 18, so over half my life. It wasn't anything that I considered. Beard care wasn't really, you know, no teenagers are worried about beard care. You're just like, yeah, I'm gonna grow a beard and be a man. But as you get older, you really realize you gotta take care of this sucker. When know? did you realize this? Late in the game. It so looks you, beautiful. It, it's nice, yeah, I got it freshly trimmed right now. It's good. This is not for the beard. It may look like it's for the beard. I suppose it could double for the beard. This is actually for the body hair. I'm half naked on national television quite often. And I gotta make sure that everything is where it needs to be. You know, I gotta look good. I'm not like overly hairy. Like I'm not like a bear where I've got like hair in like wild spots, right? No, no, you just got that real, real sexy manly body hair. Okay, so I gotta keep it in check. What would you do if I shaved my beard? Think you'd be cool with it? Yeah, I think so. Oh man. More of your face to love. Get a lovely face. Look at this face. Look at his face. I've asked you this about sh like cutting my no. hair. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. But most importantly, Irish chocolate. Because Americans, you do many things well. One thing you don't do well, chocolate. Get your act together, all right? You need to step it up a little bit. What? But this Irish chocolate. What's the difference? Delicious. It's just a little creamier, it's a little milkier, less ingredients, less sugar. How is it less sugar, really? I think so. Okay. Yeah, how do you uh, smuggle this in here? I have my sources, my mother. <laughs> you know, you're kind of glossing over the fact that you're an addict. You haven't really brought that part up. I want to stress, she doesn't have like crazy addictions to anything in life, you know? Chocolate is the exception. I'll open a drawer trying to find batteries. Voila, chocolate. I'll be looking for socks. Oh, there's some other chocolate. But yeah, I am a chocolate addict. I have chocolate every single day of my life. Multiple times a day. Constantly burning calories, you gotta replenish it. What better way to replenish? A little bite, a little sweet treat, you know? Boosts the serotonin, keeps you happy. Sure, sure. We're gonna need a oh, towel. In the late 90s, when Gwen Stefani had no eyebrows, then it was super cool to pluck out all your eyebrows. So I did that because I wanted to look super cool. And now it's not cool to have no eyebrows anymore. You know, I have different ones. This one is called the Goof Proof one. Goof Proof? Goof Proof, like yeah. You can't mess it up? You can't mess it up. I feel like I can mess that up. So does Gwen Stefani have eyebrows now? Has yeah. she ever taken responsibility for this? She must have. She has a lot to answer for. And then what's all this other stuff? So admittedly, I never cared about skincare. I used to want to have a lot of wrinkles because I had this teacher in college. She had these great lines on her face. She was so expressive. And I was like, that's awesome. I love that. I want I want to show that I've had an expressive life, lots of wrinkles. Mm -hmm. And then people online start telling me how old I looked. And I was like, all right, maybe I'll take care of myself. <laughs> I just had a baby, damn it. And you know what? I earned every one of these wrinkles. This is my ice roller. I don't know if it works, but apparently it's like, it deep puffs you in the morning and maybe shrinks pores. I feel like there's much more pressure on you guys to have like some, like I, I'm allowed to have yeah. like a bunch of wrinkles and gray hair and stuff yeah. like that, right? Yeah, you don't Exterior have the same pressure. Exterior pressure, I feel like we don't have you don't. it. Yeah. You don't, you There's a lot of conflict going on here. And there I respect is. It. I respect that there conflict. There is conflict. Now. Because we like to look good, you know? I right. like to be a hot tamale and from time are. to time. 
We'll start with the fanny pack. Look, some people will call it a shoulder strap, a merce. It's a fanny pack. I don't wear it around my fanny. I wear it on uh, across the shoulder. You really almost brought these back into style, I feel like. Single-handedly. Be before you were yeah, fashionista Seth freaking Rollins, you were, you were rocking the fanny pack. In WWE, fanny packs were huge back in the 80s and 90s, obviously. Shout out to Michael P.S. Hayes, who's been rocking it since at least 79. He and I bond over the fanny packs. The modern fanny pack, different, different story. I got all sorts of stuff in here. House key, headphones. I got multiple headphones. sets of headphones. Yep. The wireless guys from Bose. Then I've got the plug-ins, aux cord if you're on a plane. Hair ties, crucial, yes. crucial. Yeah, yeah. That's for both of us. Got the back pocket here. So many more pockets, man. Got a little cash, because no one carries cash anymore. Two passports. Don't worry about why I got two. No no need to stress there. Two passports. Got my my vaccine vaccine card here. Why did they make them that size? Why did they? Still rocking my why? Vax card. And the wallet. The wallet. And then this bad boy here. This is for lumbar support. All you do is pop the top here. Give it a quick little. Oh, look at that. Put it back here. I had one too. Oh, I can't tell you the difference that that makes. Sometimes I don't even know if I could wrestle if I didn't have this thing. It's brutal. Oh. I don't like them though. I like, I prefer a neck pillow. The problem is because we have a baby, when we fly, I don't get to sleep. That's fair. So I don't even bother with the neck pillow anymore. That's fair. My major essential this has been surgically attached to me for the last few months, almost the last few years, because I have been writing my memoir, my biography. And so I take this everywhere I go, anywhere I can get the opportunity to write. I don't have a bunch of free time, so whenever I can borrow or rob some time, then I will do it so I can always bust it out nice and thin and get to writing. I have been working on this for, gosh, I think since 2020. And I would stop and then start and then stop and then start and then stop and then start. And I realized that everything that I had written was pure shite. What was I actually, th this is crap. I need to redo this. So then in the last uh, two, three months, I've meticulously gone back and rewritten the entire book to a point that I am actually quite proud of. And he's read it. I and did he's read one the of, book. one of the first people to, to read it. She hesitated for a very long time on letting me read the because book. Because it was pure shite. It wasn't. She I probably really just, did. You, know, you saw me. You saw me. Whittled it, you know, uh, carved it, you know. Daunted. No ghostwriter, nothing like that. All in her own words. Didn't just add one more. Uh, impressive thing to the list of stuff that she does. So it's a really good book. Thanks everybody for watching. This is all of our stuff. We'll see you guys every Monday night.